Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video. And today I want to do a video on the top five best teams in Dokkan Battle. And I think this is a good time for it just because we just got out of this insane sequence of, you know, we can go back to say like Golden Week and then, you know, into uh, Anniversary and then JP, you know, we had Tanabata basically lumped into there and then we had Worldwide. So we just got out of like some of the craziest units in the game's history. Um, and now we're finally going to get into a time period where things are going to be maybe a little bit slow. The units might not be as crazy until we get to the next anniversary. So I feel like this is a good period to kind of do a cutoff and say, hey, what are the current best teams in Dokkan and what should we be what we, what should we be running? Uh, right. If we want to beat uh, content as easily. And when I did this list, once again, um, this is my opinion, so it's OK to disagree. And if you disagree, feel free to tell me what you think in the comments. Maybe there's a team I forget to mention. Um, that you feel like should be up here, feel free to mention that as well, right? Um, I'm just going to start with a few honorable mentions, and then I'm going to go into um, my final list of actually the five best teams. So a couple of honorable mentions I have here would be like the Golden Week, I would say, uh, leaders, right? So like Int, Boo, and Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So I would say some type of Super or Extreme Boo Saga team is actually quite viable. Um, I would say on the Boo side, I do like pretty much just sticking to a full boot team, something like this, but there are some other options you can throw in. Um, when I do the main list, I'll actually talk about and show the different options, but for the honorable mentions, I'm just gonna show the teams. Now, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku team, um, this would be an example of like a full Boo Saga team, but you don't have to have it full Boo Saga. You just got to make sure you have Boo Saga on rotation with the Angel Goku. But you definitely could put like Tech Gogeta, right? Like some really crazy. There's a lot of really good units that you could put on this team. But I'm just thinking as a leader, um, you know, that would kind of rank as an honorable mention. A couple honorable mentions I didn't actually like visually put up here. I would say like the Kamehameha team led by the 200% Gohan just because that Gohan is so busted. Um, but Kamehameha in general, I would say the reason it didn't make my top five was because I would prefer to run Gohan on other team builds with more busted units than just limiting myself to Kamehameha. Um, so that's a team that I thought of is another honorable mention. And then another one just because I don't have the team built because I didn't get the main unit for it. But I would say Special Pose is still like a very interesting team. I'm just personally missing a lot of pieces for that. Um, so like having Topo as the leader, the Ginyu Force... LR, uh, you know, Ribrian, LR Ribrian. Like, it, I think it's actually a pretty solid team, um, but definitely not on my top five because, once again, I think there are other teams better, and I think a lot of players aren't going to have access to those units, anyways, right? Okay, so with that, let's get into my actual top five here. And just keep in mind, the friend unit's always going to be weird, so don't worry about what the friend unit. But at number five, I did go with Movie Hero. Uh, Movie Hero is still an incredibly strong team. And by the way, anytime you see this Int Trio, I'm substituting, this is the physical LR Trio, the, the new one that just came out. I didn't get them, um, but they're going to be a big part of my top five. So just know that um, I'm not actually representing the Int Trio here. This is the physical trio uh, that does the insane defense support for the whole team. They definitely, we definitely would be on here. But this Movie Hero team is really packing some of the best units in the game, right? Like this Gogeta is still very good. And I think the reason why this team isn't higher than five is probably because we're running this guy as the leader. And while he's really good, I would say early on, he's pretty susceptible to dying. But once you get this guy transformed, you get his lock going. The thing that's crazy about this team is you have three lock mechanics on the team that you can use. You got two Gogetas and you got a Beast. So like with all of that locking, you're going to be very safe. You have Orange Piccolo's transformation to basically nullify out a turn and be very, very safe. The physical trio is going to be giving you insane amounts of defense, which is going to help a unit, say like Orange Piccolo, who's coming on two years old, which is crazy to say that Orange Piccolo is still a viable unit it after two years just shows how good he is but with the physical you know lr trio on the team it's going to make him like survive a little bit longer right um beast still in contention for best unit in the game um there's gohan in contention like dude this team has like three of literally the best units in the game in that you know the family kamehameha gohan we got beast gohan we got gogeta right so this team is just jam-packed and loaded um some other options in case you say like look at these teams and you want to build them for yourself maybe you don't have all of those units or maybe you just have a different preference and want to sub a unit out. Um, these are some other units I think are very viable on that team. I think you definitely can run, like this unit's crazy, right? The Easy A, um, Kid Gohan and Goten. Or, yeah, yeah, sorry, Goten and Trunks. <laughs> um, the thing that's crazy about them 
um, is like their dodge mechanic and everything's really good. But the, the trick with them, the reason why they don't immediately just slot into the team is you have to have them with another Kid Goten or Kid Trunks for them to be fully effective. So you would want to run either this guy or this guy. And they're a great rotation. Like, they're really, really good. The only reason I don't put them on my main team is because then they're taking up an entire rotation where when you look at how busted these units are, you would probably rather run them as a rotation. You don't want to have to worry about giving up a rotation. But a lot of players, this is a great way to fill out the team if you're missing some of those other premium units. Do a rotation with this guy and then one of these, and that's actually an excellent rotation you can run, right? I still think Super Easy A Super Saiyan 3 Goku is great. You have the other Super Saiyan 3 Goku in terms of movie hero. And I think you always got to keep this guy in mind. Like, it's crazy, but if you're going against a pure Saiyan or a movie boss, which a lot of the hardest content in the game is that, right? If we think back to most of the original Red Zones, a lot of that is movie boss type stuff. And then now with the new celebration, we even got Brolies, which are movie boss and pure Saiyan. But then now with Supreme Magnificent Battle, there's a lot of pure Saiyans mixed into there too. So there's still a lot of places I think you can get use out of this guy with his damage reduction. So he's somebody you should keep in mind. So anyways, that is number five on my list is Movie Hero. Let's go to number four. Number four is basically Beast Gohan team. Now this team used to be number one, which is crazy that for me, it's like at number four right now. Um, but this team is pretty wild and crazy. Um... You know, AGL UI Goku here will switch the friend unit. Well, friend unit, they're going to get wrong. The, by the way, that's a complaint of mine. When they auto do the friend unit, they should prioritize mirroring your lead first rather than giving you some other unit, right? Like, that's just weird. By the way, that physical uh, Gohan could be a unit you put on the team. But I think anytime you can use AGL UI Goku, this combination of AGL UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta, they're still like top units in the game. So they're insane. Beast is a top unit in the game. We already talked about Gogeta. You get access to this team, like the previous team, has access to three lock mechanics, which is huge, right? Tech UI Goku with the evade. He's got the domain. He can give your team more dodging. Um, and then the gammas. Now, I'd say the gammas here are definitely like the weak link on the team, which is kind of crazy to say because they're a premium anniversary unit. They are a great support unit, but they're definitely like, to me, like the weak choking point of the team where i feel like i could die if i'm not careful right but the rest of the team and i would say gogeta early on before he transform is a weak point and this guy if he just decides he's not going to dodge right like that that definitely can happen but this is an excellent excellent team the beast gohan setup um so here's beast has a, a great leader skill where you can fit a lot of stuff on his team and i would say that's why beast would rank above movie hero because one you're getting double beast which is way better than double gogeta and the the leader skill is way more flexible right um, but you could run STR UI Goku. You could run the physical Gohan. Um, the physical blue boys are good enough to run. Um, I would say future Gohan's good enough to run physical Piccolo. If you want to like throw a little scout around the team, sure. You could get that going. Um, you would have to kind of run like orange Piccolo then as well, which I didn't put orange Piccolo here, but you, you know, he would go there as well. Um, and then AGL Broly, you could run on the team as well. I just don't like the domain clash by trying to run UI Goku and Broly. So, I would only run Broly if maybe you're desperate and you don't have tech UI and you want to run a domain on the team. But keep in mind, he's an extreme class domain. It's just it, Broly himself is like pretty dang good when his after he transforms from the domain. Um, so this is a part where if they created a domain overwrite, it would make this a lot better. Like, and then it would be way better to put Broly on this team because what you could do is you could run Broly, do his domain just to get the transformation and then just have UI Goku's domain overwrite it and then you're supporting most of the team, right? Um, but yeah, those are some other units you could run there. Let's go to team number three. Team number three, now keep in mind, this is the physical duo, not the int trio, right? Or the physical trio. So this would be the new physical LR trio that just came out. Running them as a leader is crazy because you get two of them on the team. And then you're going to have this double multi-turn support going, which what we've seen from watching other videos of players use this team, or if you use the team yourself, it takes older units and can actually make them more viable again because of the amount of defense support you get, which is kind of crazy. So you're getting that double crazy support. You run them on rotation. Um, you have these monsters of family Kamehameha Gohan. We've got Tech Gogeta. Dude, Tech Gogeta is just such a, a beast, like ridiculous unit. Um, and then we got Evolution Blue Vegeta. And then what I do like about this team is you have the option to run a couple of really nice premium support units. So STR Bulma is still quite good enough to run. And 
with this team, you're getting multi-turn support from Bulma and two physical <laughs> LR trios, which can really juice up these units and make them insane. And then this is like, I think out of all my team builds, this is the only banner unit that made like a final team build because these guys are so freaking good. And specifically, they are so good for the physical trio, which you're going to have two of. So I feel like running this guy is actually pretty premium on this team. I would actually prefer to run them, right? Now, the other thing that I like the physical trio for is they have a very good leader skill. You can fit a lot of units. So I'm just going to show you a sampling of some of the ones you could use, but there are even more than this. So yeah, orange piccolo. I know some people are a little bit higher on STR Vegito, some maybe not, but I know there's a lot of players out there that really love to run this guy next to Tech Gogeta, and they are a great rotation. And I think the physical LR trio helps you get away with this guy a little bit more. So if you're someone that loves that rotation of STR Vegito, uh, Tech Gogeta, you definitely can run that. Um, and then I've talked about this before, but you can kind of run like a little Gohan Go or a Goten and Trunks package if you need to do that. Uh, you definitely can do that and then tech ultimate gohan still a crazy unit by the way agl ultimate gohan you could throw on here right um i didn't want to go more than one page of options so just know that some of these teams there's even more options than what i've shown i just wanted to throw out that heck you could even run tech super saiyan broly here if you wanted to he won't synergize as well because he's going to work better with other brolies but dude just hits like a truck so if you wanted to run i'm sure you could throw him there right all right, let's go to my number two team in all of Dokkan right now. Now, teams one and two, I really kept going back and forth on. They're very, very close to me. Um, I think there's just a, a couple of things that may help me separate, but I like them both. Like, it's very close between teams one and two, okay? So for number two, I did go with, like, the reps of U7 setup. Um, and I think this team is so insane, so crazy. And the reason why team one and two are where they're at is because they're the teams I feel the most safest going into content. I feel like I can blow through content quickly and or I just never feel in danger in a fight, right? And so this team here, it's basically reps of U7 and then you have Beast on the team. And you have, you know, a slot there where I can run Beast and this guy, the team U7 is still running at his best because I still have enough reps of U7 on the team. Dude, this reps of U7 and then like the... Golden Frieza 17, like these are two of the best LR EZAs they've ever done. Like they're crazy how defensive they are and how much damage they can output. Um, all of these units are insane. Evolution Blue, Vegeta, AGL UI Goku, right? And then we have Beast. The one thing that I think there's two reasons why this team ticked down to number two and not number one. And one reason is, is Tech UI is the leader. I actually prefer the leader of team number one. I would rather have two of that unit than two Tech UI. And then the other big thing that separates teams one and two for me is this team here is a little bit more RNG dependent in that it's got a lot more dodge units on it. Whereas my number one team, like pretty much the whole team can just flat out tank. And I would rather take out the RNG point of it and say, hey, I can just tank stuff rather than say, hey, I'm going to be cheeky and dodge a lot, right? Um, so that's, it's very subtle difference, but both teams I feel incredibly safe most of the time and they're insane, right? Let's look at some alternate units you could run on the Tech UI team. Um, oh, I forgot to put them here. Shoot. Okay. So a unit I'm just going to mention right away that I forgot to picture here is the Int 17 and 18. And some people actually like running them as the lead. Now, I think Tech UI is going to be much better as the lead, but you could run um, Tech 17 and 18. They're a good enough floating support unit you can run. I just feel like against the big, big heavy hitting bosses, like it's going to be hard to get them to live some of that. Um, so I do find them as like a weak point there, but the, the int 17 and 18, definitely keep them in mind for this reps of U7 team, especially if you want to run a really nice floating support unit, right? Um, obviously the physical blue boys are a great option. You can run, I've mentioned them before. Um, some non reps of U7, like you could run tech ultimate Gohan. You could run like STR Kefla. You can run Gogeta. Um, you can run Gammas, right? The only thing is, is you got to be careful. And then you could run like future Gohan. There are a lot more units you can run here. You just have to be careful because you don't want to do too many non reps of U7 unless you don't have this guy. If you're not running him on the team, then you can kind of slot in whatever you want for additional units that you have, right? All right. So a lot of you probably have figured out what my number one team is by now because there's some key units I haven't mentioned yet. But right now, and this is kind of crazy to me, uh, but my number one team is, is the Broly team, right? And the reason why this team is number one and why it's crazy 
It's an extreme team, and we've known throughout the history of Dokkan, extreme has always paled in comparison to super class teams. We usually get like one pretty good solid extreme team for that'll last like an entire year, but I don't know that we've ever could say that an extreme team is actually the best unit in the game or the best team in the game. Now, there will definitely be players out there that maybe disagree with me on this just because like the super class teams have so many more options, right? There's always gonna be more super saiyans coming out. There's gonna be more support coming out. But this Broly team, man, they literally like overloaded it. Like they did so much. And I'm going to show you the options. I think every unit on the option list are premium to run on here in the hardest content. Whereas some of those other options I showed you, you are kind of downgrading the team by putting those in. I think the secondary options for this team, you're not really doing much of a downgrade. Like all of these units are insane. So this is my preferred way to run it. And I'm going to change this just so we can look at exactly how I run this team. But right now, this is my favorite team in the game. So double tech Carnival Broly is absolutely ridiculous because some of the hardest fights in the game, they come at you hard and they come at you fast. We saw this with the new Gogeta and Janemba fights where they're literally hitting like 4 million turn one. This untransformed Broly can sit in slot one and you are guaranteed to survive all of that shenanigan. And then your other units are gonna get time to super and build up. They designed it so well too, where then you can instantly, if you want to turn one, instantly transform into legendary Super Saiyan Broly, and he's gonna link up with all of your other legendary Super Saiyan Broly's. Just such a brilliantly designed unit, one of my favorite units in the game. Int Broly, I, I like him on the team a ton because of his early domain, which another thing we're seeing in tough fights are, um, enemy domains or enemy like field skills, whatever they call them. They use a different name for the enemy ones, but you need to cancel that stuff out fast. This guy can do it turn one, right? And then he has a revive, which is a really good thing that the Broly team needs. Now, the other thing I didn't mention on like the Reps U7 team, anytime we're talking about Evolution Blue Vegeta, uh, UI Goku, they also have revive, which is a big part of why they're so good, right? Um, then we have this guy, which is literally the hardest hitting unit in the game. He can put up... Like without his active skill, like after he transforms, he's hitting like 40 mil shots, like normally like 45. And then with his active skill up, I don't know, 60, 70 mil shots. Like he can absolutely obliterate. Like this guy, I know like the big reason we like family Kamehameha so much is because they can one shot bosses, right? This guy can almost, he's kind of similar to that. Family Kamehameha definitely hits harder, but this guy gets an incredible nuke turn and then he can follow up with additionals on that turn. So this guy could literally be like 70 mil shot and then like 250 mil shots in one turn. Like ridiculous, ridiculous unit. Um, and then we'll finish talking about Broly's, but I think this guy's an excellent, super easy. A. I love that they made him a support unit. He's defensive enough and tanky enough to actually live stuff. Um, just a very good design unit can hit really hard, can shell out quad supers of like 20 mil plus while supporting like pretty dang good. And then we got cell max who is probably the best, just flat out yellow coin LR if we're not including easy A's and stuff, but like Still best yellow coin LR, insane damage, very defensive and has a locking mechanic. So the big thing now is this Broly team has a revive mechanic and a locking me mechanic built into it. Um, tons of AOE damage. So if you ever are actually doing AOE fights, they just blitz through it so fast. It's crazy. Um, and then physical Janemba in line with Tech Gogeta is just like very, very top tier, new easy, a very defensive, can put out a lot of damage. Um, fits so well onto the team, just fits like a glove so good right so good this team now if you look at this team this team has zero dodge units on it zero right and every unit and i'm even talking about this guy and this guy like they can tank stuff after supering now like aoe's will catch some of these guys off guard right if it's an aoe fight and they need to super to get a lot of their stats sure they could get caught but what you notice with this team it's a brilliant combination of very defensive but then also incredibly offensive and i've said this before sometimes the best defense is a good offense because if you kill the enemy too quick then they don't get a chance to have the bad rng and kill you so this team not only is going to have the defense that needs to survive stuff but is going to blitz through like if you are a speed runner and you want top time scores on any event this is the team that will blow it away like absolutely ridiculous right now here's the thing this is the other reason this team ranks so high. Look at the secondary options here. Like all of these units are amazing in their own way and can be used in situations. Now, obviously this guy, 
got a somewhat underwhelming EZA. But it, you can find a pocket of fights where this guy would actually be quite premium to use. Any fight that ends on a Goku fight, I think this guy, or if you're fighting Gokus primarily throughout the fight, and I get it, it's going to be a limited chunk. I think any fight against a hybrid or pure Saiyan, especially ones where this guy has nat natural type advantage, he actually could be a really good slot in there. So this is a unit that, yes, he's not going to make the main team because there's a lot of content where he's just not going to be good enough. Um, but I think there are pockets where he's premium, right? Um, this guy, Broly, Chilai, and Lemo, still an incredibly good unit. The big problem with them is they need like more orb changing to be consistent, but they are still a very good support unit you can run. And if you're really willing to take the risk and, and try to be very mindful about getting them orbs, they can work. And once again, some of these units can still hide behind the revive. So if you get the revive up within Broly, this is a unit where you could maybe intentionally take that revive if you want to, right? Um, STR Turles, amazing support unit, very defensive, has 50% damage reduction, can get over a mill defense. So this is another unit that can naturally tank. The only reason that this guy wouldn't slot into my main team is he's not uncontrollable power. Um, it's not the hugest deal, but if you want to use Imp Broly's domain turn one, if you open up first rotation and Team Turles is with Imp Broly, you will not be able to activate that. That can hurt the team. Some players, that may not be a big deal because you might not want to do the domain turn one. So you just simply slide them off rotation and you're good to go. So Turles is definitely, to me, a top tier option you can still run. It just depends on your opinion on how you feel about Imp Broly's um, domain. And maybe you don't have Imp Broly. Well, then you just slot this guy on because you're not worried about full uncontrollable power at that point, right? LR Bio Broly, one of the better free-to-play units they've ever released. Incredibly defensive option you can run on the team to sit in slot three and just tank, right? And brings another lock mechanic to the team uh, that can help you live. Bio, Bro Do not sleep on LR Bio Broly, dude. He is actually a good unit. Like, I was actually sad that they came up with so many good units because I had to slide Bio Broly off the team and I had to slide AGO Broly off the team, which is kind of crazy because... I think most players would agree AGL Broly is still a more premium unit you can run. He does have a weakness, right? And his weakness is um, AoEs before he gets a chance to super and then just in general, he can't live stuff as well as he can until he transforms. However, if you can get to this guy's domain, it helps buff the team so much and then he becomes a monster. So AGL Broly is still like a top tier premium option you would run. Um, and then Harudagar, a Harudagar and a little bit on the lower end, but he is, he would be the one instance of like the Dodger die unit you would run on a Broly team if you wanted to. Um, but once again, I like that the Broly team can flat out tank and I don't have to rely on the Dodger die. So Harudagarn would definitely be like lower on the list for me, but still a very premium unit you could run. So anyways, guys, let me review my top five again. You can let me know if you agree or disagree with some of my answers. Um, let me know if there's a, a, a key team that you think I missed that you feel like should be mentioned. Mention it in the comments, right? So at number one, I do have the Broly team. And I specifically, I much prefer Tech Broly to the lead over Imp Broly. And the reason why is when you run Imp Broly as the lead, you can actually get cloggy on legendary Super Saiyan Broly's because they won't link with other ones. And with this Tech Broly as the lead, you're going to get less clogginess because he's going to link with all of your Broly's no matter what, because he's either going to be base Broly, which will naturally link, or a transformed legendary Broly will always do it. And I flat out like Tech Carnival Broly better. I think he's just flat out a better unit than Int Broly. Um, Int Broly gives you a little bit more flexibility on leader skill, but you don't need it. Full movie boss, bam, it works. And because it's a carnival leader skill, you're guaranteed every unit on the team's a 200% leader skill. You don't have to putz with, okay, do they have the 30% part or not? Um, you can just say, yep, it's full 200% maxed out team. Mwah, perfect, perfect team right here. Um, at number two, I put um, some variation of this reps of U7 team with beast on it. I feel like is the second best team. Third best team, I went with physical LR trio. I don't have the unit, so ignore the int unit there, but that would be the physical trio. And... I feel like this team has a lot more flexibility for units you would move around and is going to get a lot more support in the future for new units that can go on the team. So I feel like this team has a very bright future. Um, at number four, I did put Beast Gohan as the leader for a team. I think you could debate Beast Gohan over Physical Trio. I think you could see it either way. They're very close to me um, because Beast is still, still such a dominant unit. Having two of him on the team is so ridiculous, right? 
And then at number five, I did put Movie Heroes, uh, flat out 200% with Gogeta. You got three lock mechanics here. You have Family Kamehameha. You have Physical LR Trio. Uh, you have Tech Gogeta. Team is absolutely crazy. So anyways, guys, let me know what y'all think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.